everybody. Welcome back to Nat 20. I'll be your host for today on <laughs> the Unexpected Clause, our Christmas yeah. special. Oh, woohoo! Uh, wow. Previously on the first episode, everyone got a job by signing a blood contract. <laughs> and then uh, they did a little bit of a tour around the barracks, crafted some weapons and such, RC cars that stick to people. And uh, we ended it off by fighting some ice methods and exploring the storeroom. So that was real life, and then in game. <laughs> and now, Molly will show them uh, the wish department. So. Wait, Molly, that, so that's Santa's sleigh in there, right? You said? It 100% is Santa's sleigh. My God, you know Santa is one of the best beings alive? The things that he does are just awesome. Oh, Santa's magical. not real. No. <laughs> I mean, you met Santa earlier today. Oh, we did. No, I didn't. Like I in red suit. That was Santa. That was Santa in disguise. Holy hell! I don't believe it. Wait, you guys were at the job fair? Did you even come to the janitor booth? <laughs> Why they spend time setting that up? Jingle, they have more important lines. I was handing out free cigarette packs. So, <laughs> if there was a job booth for this uh, job that we're doing here, why wouldn't they have a, a different booth for the janitor? That's what I just said, is that I had a booth no, but, set up. But why? <laughs> In case someone wanted to be a janitor. What is this job we're doing again? <laughs> you are hired to draft toys. For all the little boys and girls that Santa has on his nice list. And non gender binary kids as well. <laughs> well, all so, right. So far, we're thinking. For the naughty kids, I was thinking, you have that little sparky thing, right? Yeah. I have this car. <laughs> kids love cars. Well, if we snap those two together, find a naughty kid and then. Psst. <laughs> <laughs> him straight. <laughs> you and me, we're on the same brainwave. You know, Santa has always approved of more. Of her I know. taking the initiative against naughty children. I, I knew. I know. I used to. I know. I know. All right. Um, you want to hand me that taser? That's it. <laughs> As you know, Santa is a very busy man, and he doesn't have the time to deal with the naughty children every day, every single day. So you mean he's too fucking lazy? <laughs> but why do you? Why do we keep you around, Abel? <laughs> I raise my hand real high. <laughs> Fuck you, Fuck you, Yes, Barnaby. Miss Molly, uh, well, um, I perhaps can take over <laughs> some of Santa's work by uh, reprising my role as enforcer of the naughty. You were an enforcer? I was, yes. I taught the naughty kids how to be good for next year. Quite, I, it worked out quite well. I had no record of this. Well, he... He was off the records. <laughs> oh, okay. He was uh, one of his I little see. secret projects, if you will. Maybe I can bring that up for him next time I see him. You really should. You should tell him. I would love I would love to be back in it. Can I insight check him, please? <laughs> sure. I feel like he's telling the truth, though. 18. That's, yeah. I'm telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't up. actually happen. It was in my dream, but I believe... That it happened. I okay. also believe that it happened. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited to be building things again. I'm really good at building and smithing and not as much killing. Well, that is perfect because that is exactly what you got hired for. All right. I'm going to take that taser in that car. I'm just going to bang them together. Okay. Yeah, there's a workshop in the store room. You can build it there. Yeah. That's your second crafting for today. And you have we now have an RC taser. Sticky nice. taser cut. So it's an RC car that you can remotely control as a bonus action. And it's a plus one taser that does 1d6 shot damage. And it can stick to anything. And it can stick to anything. <laughs> this is a <the> <laughs> car, man. <laughs> okay, so Molly will lead you up to the door to the wish department. This place is even more extravagant than the previous two buildings. Uh... The other two buildings are only uh, single-floor buildings. This one's two stories, and it is just completely lit up with lanterns, 
the snow is like perfectly draped over top of the, the roof, icicles hanging out, and it just looks perfect. Uh, you guys can't open the door. Molly, with her level 4 access, opens up the door for you guys and ushers you guys in. And uh, as soon as you guys enter, since the Wish Department doesn't really get visitors that often, Felipe, a kind of young, uh, impressionable halfling, rushes up to you guys and is just like, Hello, hello, hello. I haven't seen visitors in so long. How are you guys doing? I'm Felipe. Well, hello there. And he's quickly shaking all <laughs> My name is guys. Jerry Snowberry. Uh, this kid this is guy. Guy. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Hello, Jingle. How are you doing? Fucking love you, man. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> love you, man. <laughs> Barnaby's Club. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Felipe. You're talking too much over my words, you see. <laughs> what? All right? <laughs> Let I'm, me I'm say so no, I'm happy to see you, man. Sh- shut up. Let me say my name. All right? My name's Barnaby's Club. Barnabas. Barnabas. God damn it. <laughs> What's Felipe? Is that your name? Yeah. Shut up, Felipe. Let me say my name. <laughs> okay. Barnaby's Clomby Club at your service. I'm Felipe. I was never given a uh, last name. Just call me Phil. Molly, what the hell did you give this guy? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm just very excited to meet you guys. Oh, this is so good. This kid's Do you know correct. where Santa is? <laughs> oh, um, I haven't seen him in so long. I haven't seen anyone in so long. I have to talk to Kevin back there. Do you know who Kevin is? I don't know if I want to know who Kevin is. Oh, he is <clears throat> not... Just don't talk to a man. I like Kevin. <laughs> is he just is... like a volleyball with the face paint on it? <laughs> no. Kevin is a very old and cranky fucking bastard. <laughs> Jingle, who's this Kevin he's talking about? He's a very cranky old bastard. <laughs> he... <laughs> Got it. He's the elder that is in charge of the Whisk Rolls, and he takes his job way too seriously. Listen, all you need oh, to know right. here is that Billy Pace... Kind of an intern. We ignore him. He's a pain in the ass. Kevin's the one who does the actual work. And he's the only person around here I respect. When well, I'm okay. in charge one day... Well, Jingle, a lot of people like me. Shut the There's fuck up. There's not that many people here nowadays, but a lot of people like Shut me. Shut up, Felipe. I'm talking. <laughs> Listen, when I'm in charge, Kevin's the only one who gets to stay. First one I'm firing is Molly. The second one... <laughs> Is fucking Felipe, <laughs> and there's no one else who works here. What about the big well, red man himself? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jingle, you think you can really take over the big man's job? If I love bullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I came out. What did I just say? I didn't say anything. You said something about bullets. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, hold on. Who's the third person you find me? I told you there's no one else who works here. Well, we work here. We're all employed. Oh, you guys haven't pissed me off yet, so you can stay. <laughs> How wonderful. <laughs> also, Jingle, no smoking in here. Last I checked, I'm actually above you. It's going to ruin the scrolls, and you know that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> He'll smack it out of your hand. I'll just light another one when you get to God damn it. Hey, Philly Bay. Yes. No being naughty now. Oh, I'm not being naughty. You see this little thing beside me? And I'm just going to kind of like shock it a little bit. He'll pick it up. And be like, oh, it's so fucking cool. Felipe, <laughs> turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> when he does this, can I try to like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to control it by right hand. Uh... Sure. Awesome. What do I roll for that? I mean, he's, like hand problem, he's not expecting you to tase him, so you'll literally just tase him. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make your character sheet, so he literally just, as he picks up this car, you guys push the button, and he gets fucking tased <laughs> full force. He's just like, <laughs> and he immediately drops the car. He's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that, Suddenly, I see what you mean, this man. That's, uh... That made my day. <laughs> what that made rush. your day. Oh, hell yeah. That, that's most of, most I've experienced in so long. Uh, Bombadil is just right. laughing maniacally this entire time. That guy stole batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go. Oh. <laughs> that's how we made that RC car, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> These guys are some good inventors. Listen, Jerry, I'm going to be honest. We have so many fucking batteries, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I know, I just... I can't respect a man who, uh... Was it out of your entertainment player and... system? Yes. <laughs> That's yours. He took his own batteries. It's not steel. <laughs> you just can't play PlayStation. Get over it. <laughs> I'll have all you guys do a perception check. Oh, I love these characters. Nine, Six. Seven, eight. Seventeen. Oh, seven, actually. Twelve. So, Earl eight. I'm going to say, if you guys... Felipe is going to try and show you guys up the uh, the stairway to go uh, talk to Kevin. And as you guys are going up the stairway, at the corner of your eye, you see a pretty fancy-looking aluminum baseball bat. It's kind of mounted in the wall right underneath one of the stairs. I'm going to run was, over and grab it. <laughs> what What was the, the pass for that? It's like... Well, okay, I got a 15. Okay, yeah, you see it. Okay. No, it's just <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm going to race yeah, over and just so rip that bat. All oh, three of you guys see the baseball bat. You immediately run I grew up and I just ripped that bat and it's mine. Felipe <laughs> sees you run over. He's like, oh, wait, 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 hold on. That's my bat. I got that. Felipe, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Look, I don't okay. like your tone. I like your attitude. You're being kind of naughty. That's this is head. my bat. You touch my RC car, I touch your bat. You understand? <coughs> Barnabas, that's the only thing I have in this world. Well, Barnabas is going to take your bat, all right? Barnabas, you shouldn't do that. Barnabas, These you're are being a... rather naughty yourself. Mm-mm. I'm Santa's enforcer soon to be, at least. That that seems like I, an I need a weapon. Power. Are you an enforcer? Yes. Oh. That's why I need this weapon. You see, I'm on a special mission. I'm you out of firing you became the very thing you swore to destroy. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Felipe, you can have a cigarette. Um, I, I don't want your cigarette, Jago. <laughs> Fucking kids. All right, Barnaby, or, sorry, Felipe. Look. I'll, I'll keep on with a baseball bat. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> all, all right, very well. I'll take the baseball bat. I'll give it back eventually at some point. Maybe I when I find will. my own baseball bat. I'd be very appreciative of this one. If, if you could bring me anything, I would really appreciate it. I'm very lonely here. Kevin doesn't talk to me. All right, I'll bring you some. Good reason. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll speaking of, let's, let's go talk to Kevin. See, <laughs> if he, uh, see if he wants to talk to you guys. You guys, are, company. you guys will go up the stairs. And a small man, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, uh, I say to you, Bob. I'm maybe like, maybe you and uh, Kevin have something in common. What's the stats for? Uh, I'll, I'll give it to you. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys walk up the stairs. Immediately uh, to the right of you, up the stairs, it's a giant bookcase, and it's filled with all these scrolls. All of them have uh, bands on them. They all seem to be very well kept. And uh, straight in front of you guys is a very big wooden desk. Sitting behind it is a very short, very old-looking halfling. He looks like he's going to fucking die any soon, any moment. He's just like covered in white hair. <laughs> and just his face is just a pile of wrinkles. And this is Kevin, Felipe says. I whisper to you, Barmas. Probably some taser, taser this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think this one's going to pick up the damn car now. <laughs> and you can see Kevin like, slowly get up out of his chair. We'll walk over and slap Kevin on the back. <laughs> uh, Kevin, how's it going, big guy? He, he stumbles into his desk. <laughs> oh, you grab his shoulders and give him the old New York like hand jostle. Yeah, buddy. Jingle, don't make me bring out the Yeti again. <laughs> ah, the Yeti. <laughs> and at this moment, you, you want to smoke? See, Right behind Kevin, in giant picture frames, a bonbill yeti right behind his chair, and two smaller yetis off to the side. And uh, Kevin calls me like, nope, don't make me bring out the yeti again. Go get rid of your smoke and get out of here. Ah, uh, you know the smoke is a part of my broom now, actually, so <laughs> I physically cannot stop it. <laughs> Smells great, though. <laughs> I thought they weren't letting you craft anymore. Yeah, well, Molly was a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know what? Whatever. Just 
Stay out of my way. I fucking love this guy. Who <laughs> are these guys? Nice to meet you, Kevin. My name is Jerry oh, Snowman. <laughs> I'm going to shake his hand. <laughs> He'll shake your hand. I'm going to walk over to right. Kevin extend my hand. Barnabas Clumby Clump, at <laughs> your service. You can feel that his hand is just like limp. <laughs> very limp, and he has almost no strength when he's shaking your hand. <laughs> it's pleased to meet you guys. Oh, a firm handshake, whoa. <laughs> These are the new workers. I'm Bobdell, Bobdell Kertzik. Probably not going to last long, just like everybody else. Alright, uh, what's that? You've lasted pretty long. <laughs> I've kept myself. <laughs> I haven't signed on these new fucking contracts that everyone's been doing. Oh, we all signed them with blood. Oh, and they were with the, with the KKK. Wait, we got new contracts? Yeah. Yeah, did you sign a jingle? No, Molly didn't give me one. Mm. Well, we, you can always talk to her, I guess. I fucking hate you, Jingle. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, we had to sign it with blood, and I put my hand up, and it's still bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that blood away from my skull. <laughs> <laughs> And that makes sense. Yep, that is the finest thing. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll walk over the skulls and be like, okay. You guys want to know something? These are the most prized possessions. As he puts his hand in the bookcase. Nobody touches these except these for These? And I <laughs> reach with my bloodied hand. <laughs> he'll grab his, his hand. <laughs> Smack you as hard as he can. And he's like, don't touch that shit. Why will be on the Yeti? Kevin, why, why are these so important? These are wish scrolls. These will grant the wishes of every single person on the nice list. Do not touch these scrolls. <laughs> Mom and Bill, right? These are for the good kitties. Of course, of course, of course. Stash, you, you touch him, I smack you with my bat. Yeah, definitely. And can I roll a uh, slight, slight band? <laughs> Felipe said he's never seen anyone in so long, so do they not have a lot of nice kids? I, I'm saying it's out of character because uh, Jingle Fidget is actually an idiot. One of their high intelligence. Same. Felipe hasn't seen one because no one has access to go into the wish department except right. for Molly. Right. Okay. And then you go sometimes to clean the place up. Okay. And they literally, Felipe and Kevin literally just sit there by themselves. Okay. Until a Christmas Eve and they grant all the wishes. Okay, gotcha. That's it. Okay. Uh, you can roll sleight of hand with disadvantage because he's keeping an eye on Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. That's, uh, wait. That was, uh, 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay. What languages does everybody know? Common and Catholic. Yes, same. Uh, I also know Undercommon. Yeah. You have a dark <laughs> side, don't you? <laughs> Part so, of my background. Well, you have a language. He sees you trying to reach for its scroll and trying to take one. And he speaks in celestial. None of you guys know it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. He speaks a, a key word, and one of the yetis reaches his hand out of the painting as he starts climbing out. And stomping towards you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I told you not to touch your scrolls and I'm gonna bring these motherfuckers out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now put that back and I'll put the Yeti back. You don't even have anything. <laughs> I'll step away. I take a step back and I'm like, I wasn't doing anything. What are Good. you talking about? Good, you stay right there. Yeah, of course. Keep an eye on you. Sure, do it. He's the that. one that stole the battery. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a little thief now. <laughs> it is hire anyone nowadays. Oh, yeah. Anyone, anyone who wants to lose some blood and work for the KKK. <laughs> this is the CCC, man. We signed with the KKK. Well, yeah, I can, I can shake in uh, Bombardier's thingy where uh, on the papers they say KKK in the corner instead of CCC. It was like a new league contract we signed with blood. Something <laughs> is up, and I... I don't have the energy to deal with this. Really, don't die, though, but... <laughs> that's what it said. Do you know anything about that? Or? All I know is that this is the Confederate Claws Company, and these wish schools are the most powerful thing that 
that CCE, CCC owns. No one, no one will touch your scrolls. You see what I mean, Kevin? We need new management. <laughs> it should be me. <laughs> okay, how about you guys all just leave right now? I need to take a nap. <laughs> Am I able... I've been very busy recently. Take Am I nap? able to... Alright, you got it, Kevin? I'm on my way out the door yeah, right you guys, now. You guys know this is Christmas Eve. I gotta grant all these wishes and... He looks down at his, at his wrist. Like, a couple hours. <laughs> so you're gonna take a nap? Yes. Cool. I need all my energy. And you want all of us out of here? Yes. Alright, you heard the man. Everyone this is out. my department and I want you guys Am I out. able to make a wish? <laughs> Are you on the nice list? I have no idea. <laughs> If you're on the nice list, your wish will be granted. Otherwise, yeah. You gotta believe in Santa now. All right, now he said everyone out. It's everyone out, and I'm just gonna pull up the bat. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm on the nice list. Start like hurting everyone out. Yeah, yeah I'll so. make my way out. Yeah, I walk out. I didn't want to fucking stick around anyway. <laughs> Boring as hell in here. As you guys are walking out, Molly's like, "Well, um, that's the wish department. That's Felipe and Kevin." Uh, as you can see, we they don't get visitors that often. Uh, yeah, I think it's best if we just leave them alone. Uh, next up, let's go see the reindeer. She didn't see his reindeer. Do you guys ever seen a talking animal? No. Yeah, you mean an animal that doesn't <laughs> shut up? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> let's go and talk to the animals now. Uh, you guys will exit the wish department. Uh, pass down the well, and you guys go onto this path. It's actually cobblestone paved. It's the only actual legit path. Everything else is just shoveled snow, beaten paths. This is a paved path with candy canes all along the side, and it leads straight into a pretty menacing looking forest. I'm going to take one of the candy canes I'm and start eating it. Yeah, I'd probably take one too. These kind of things can also be used as bomb weapons if you guys want to. Nice. Um, oh no, wait! I'm gonna start using it as a cane. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. So, a baseball bat is a two-handed special weapon. Yeah. One d ten bludgeoning. If you get a crit, it gets one extra dice. Okay. So, yeah, so it has three dice on a crit. <laughs> wow. Um, candy canes, one-handed. It deals 1d6 cold damage. Is this strength weapon? Yeah. Okay. So you guys walk down this cobblestone path into this pretty menacing looking forest. As you guys get to the edge of it, you guys can see a, a chain link fence going pretty much all the way around the forest as far as your eye can see. It's about five feet high, higher than you can jump. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right at the end of the path, is a gate that Molly will open with her card, uh, with her employee pass. Uh, she'll say, "Now you guys don't have access to this place yet, uh, but you guys, you know, do very well and rise up in the ranks. Maybe you'll be able to be a uh, animal handler for the reindeer. It's always a fantastic job. Uh, I'll I'll show you. I forget how many reindeer there are." 12? Uh, 9, I think. 14. 14? No. Is it actually 14? No, I think it's like 7. Dancer, Prancer, seven. Donovan. Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> Not Donovan. <laughs> yeah, hey, Gato. Yeah, can you look them up? I need all the names. I think there's How eight. many reindeer no, does Santa nine. have? Uh, hey, Google. Hey, Siri. Is Santa hey, real? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, someone just wrote an essay. Just tell me who they are. Dasher, Danner, Pranzer, Blitzen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Vixen. Wait, that sounds right. And Rudolph. There are eight reindeer. If you count Rudolph, then there are nine. That's what I just said. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you 14 was rather one of those. There are nine reindeer here to keep that all have their own private pens. And uh, I'll introduce you to all of them. I'll be in guys for. Uh, go into this forest, and it's a kind of a beaten path, but immediately opens up into a pretty large clearing, where uh, you see a couple of reindeer grazing on the grass. The stable kind of in the background, a couple of them are in the stable. 
and uh, everything looks pretty nice. Um, she'll immediately bring you to the first ranger, who is going to be common. If you look closer, you see the cigarette burns. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. I don't abuse comments. Okay. So, you guys will go up to comment, and he'll kind of raise his head at you guys, uh, <coughs> approaching him, and he'll need to say, Just food? You guys got food? I, like, put my candy cane in front of him. Oh, so you can have the now I remember what happened to my kids start making it and just take a huge bite of it out of it as well. It's like, oh, I haven't been fed so long. <laughs> I need food. Wow. <laughs> now you see the cigarette burn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, comment. Oh, hi, Jingle. I thought, wait, you, why did they let you out of your cave? <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you, you never leave the north side. You never see us anymore. I'm not allowed to come in here. What's wrong with these angels? <laughs> I tried feeding them cigarette ass. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got food, Jingle? I need food. I got nothing. Are you kidding me? I barely get paid. You carrot? Right? No, my carrot. I fed my carrot to Comet like six years ago. Remember when you gave me that carrot, Jingle? Oh. That was the best fucking carrot of my life. That's the best carrot I've ever had. It's amazing. <laughs> they mistreat these people. I'm telling you, we need new management. <laughs> It yeah. should be me. I should be in charge. Honestly, speaking of management, I haven't seen Santa in so long. Fuck that dick, bro. <laughs> hey, right, now. Oh, don't you need the old channel. Well, I mean, if... I don't, I don't know if they hired someone new, but they got this weird, huge guy wandering around trying to pretend that he's Santa. It's, he smells fucking weird, man. Maybe it's a mall Santa. <laughs> I don't know, man. They usually smell like booze. It's, it's, it's definitely not. It's definitely not Mr. Claus. He treats me right. Yo, the more you mention it, comes the more I realize I haven't seen Santa in it forever either. Yeah, kind of got me worried. This is Christmas Eve. It, things are supposed to be going right now. Instead, all we got is me sweeping up the fucking same floor again and again. <laughs> and then these fucking bimbos who don't even know what they're doing. Who are these guys, anyways? They got hired today to Let me introduce myself. Right. Well, nice to meet you, Comet. I'm Jerry. Jerry Snowberry. <laughs> <laughs> I put my head to shake. <laughs> you know, she'll kind of let Laura's head so you can shake his arm here. Hi. How are Jerry? <laughs> Firmly shake his arm. Her name's Comet. I, I'm the I'm the main reindeer here. What about Rudolph? Hey, don't don't <laughs> mention his fucking name. Hey, hey. Want to know what happened to Rudolph? Want to know why his rip, his nose is so red? Uh, he didn't get invited to all the reindeer games. <laughs> uh, we stopped inviting him because he had a problem, man. <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't mention his name. It's taboo out here, you know. <laughs> He was sniffing too much snow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, since I'm quite innocent and naive, I definitely don't. <laughs> but I don't ask questions. That's why I've noticed the red. He couldn't lead the goddamn truth anymore. <laughs> well, allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Barnabas Clomby Clomb at your service. Well, how, hello, Barnabas. Not uncommon. <laughs> Now, there used to be nine reindeers that led the troop, and now there's, uh, there's eight. Well, hey, now, don't you worry, because, see, I'm here to protect you, all right? I'm here to protect everything Santa owns. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so understand this. Anyone touches you, they get smacked with this bat. Or choked out with this candy cane. Okay. Well, have everyone, uh, roll the section check right now. They need nourishment. People have food. Oh, like my God. Bars. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen as well. Ten. Perception? Yep. Eleven. Six. You're old. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You guys notice the reindeer in front of you as you guys are talking to them. Um, I'm going to pat co Comet, was it? Comet. Comet on the head and also give him the candy cane to eat more of. Oh, he has food. <laughs> more food. Fuck it. Sorry, man. Uh, Molly. Miss Molly. Yes. Where, where the hell does this reindeer seem to be starving? <laughs> um... Because the management is shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, as I was telling you before, we're kind of understaffed right now. 
Oh, it's my job to train. It's not my job to take care of fucking reindeer. <laughs> you shit all over the place. Uh, really? I guess our handlers disappeared or quit. I'm not quite sure. You don't know what happened to your staff. Most of them disappeared. Uh, you are some sort, aren't you some sort of supervisor? Yeah. Well, <laughs> what kind of supervisor does not understand what happens to their staff? <laughs> She'll start breaking down. Hergamus! <laughs> I'm doing my best, Hergamus! Now smarten up here, Missy! <laughs> Alright? <laughs> this is the North Pole. Now in the North Pole, you need to be tough. This place is a mess. <laughs> no mess! Shit. We're going to, we can't save Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and we don't even have all the presents. Jingle, what the hell's happening to this lady? I'm just laughing. <laughs> Watching your friends down. I don't know if this happens every Christmas Eve, but for once, she's actually right. We don't have any workers. You guys were hired today to finish, like, three months' worth of work. Now, hold on. We already have a head start with the RC Taser Sticky RC, <laughs> as well as my anvil. There are over seven billion people in the world. You have one present down. Congrats. <laughs> uh, all of I can the nice fast. Oh, sure, Molly. I'm trying to actually defend you and you, you, you peek up. Just shut up. Finish your crying. Yeah. Why don't you wait for your present, you fucking dick? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna keep talking. Your present's gonna be a knuckle sandwich, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to Molly. I'm just gonna give her a good slap across the face. And we go, Listen now, Molly. <laughs> now, how do you think Shadow would feel if he saw you like this? Hmm? Wouldn't bat an eye if you ask me. <laughs> exactly. You need to be strong here, Miss Molly. <laughs> you are our supervisor under Santa's uh, man. Uh, Power. Okay. Oh, and, and, and what, what about the Santa that uh, Comet was just talking about? The one who might have smelled like booze. <laughs> Honestly. It's a bigger Santa than normal, or whatever. I, 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 I don't know about that. I honestly thought he was a Santa. It's usually the same disguise he uses when he goes out to talk to civilians. Uh, after I saw um, Barnabas slab Molly, I like lean over to Bob and say... I think we'd have to report that to HR. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had one. <laughs> Everyone that was part of the union, they, they all left. Everyone that was part of the HR, they, they all left. Now, Molly, why did they leave? That's what we're trying to find out here. I don't know. You're a supervisor, Molly. They all just disappeared. Everyone went to the big man's house. They went into Santa's house, and then they just didn't come back. <laughs> I'm out. Ma, if I find out you're lying to me. <coughs> Wait, everyone who went to Santa's place went disappeared? I was supposed to go there later tonight for my, my monthly review. <laughs> I don't think it's going to even have access to go in there. But why would he review you on Christmas Eve when he has got to go out and do all those presents? He does it every Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> is that... Is that canon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's Jared. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't give up. laughs> yeah. I mean, I got invited for my fucking monthly review. What if I'm going to die? Look, Molly, where'd they go, Molly? <laughs> if I knew, I would tell you. No, this would have happened if, if I was in charge. <laughs> wait, 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 did you guys hear that? No. No, Molly, we did not hear that. At this point, you guys hear a loud, gr low growl. Molly, we hear that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my stomach. And you can see. I'm pull my back. <laughs> A bunch of set of yellow eyes peek through the forest. Oh, it's Rudolph. Those are the, <laughs> those are the other reindeer, are they? And as they're getting closer, you see that there is, there is a pack of four winter wolves they're approaching the reindeer and trying to get their uh, their meal going. Approaching the reindeer. Common notices and immediately freaks out. It's like, Fuck! <laughs> I, I immediately get in between the reindeer and the wolves. And all the reindeer that were grazing and maybe book it into the stables. Save us! I'm gonna say to Barbus. Can, can I use the... Can you give me the control for the RC taser? Copy that, and I'm just gonna toss in oh, the yeah. controller. Oh, my wolves. Batter up! Molly, tell me these wolves are not here to eat these reindeer. <laughs> 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 well, it's either they're here to eat, eat the reindeer or they're here to eat you. I wonder which one tastes better. <laughs> well, it looks like the reindeer are getting their food after all. <laughs> yeah, eat the wolves. <laughs> What's the <laughs> first? That's good. Uh, no, so Barnabas, you can't feed wolves <laughs> to a reindeer. Yeah. And then 
and it's they're, uh, they're herbivores. One D six berries, candy, candy canes. Yeah, I'll have everyone go on this year. I can go on my candy. Zach, is my exact and I have a dex weapon or a strength weapon? I'd say it's finesse. Oh no, fifteen. Fuck. That can be either. Okay, cool. Wow. Yeah, it's just the same stats as. Uh, got twelve too. Yeah. Nice, dude. As it's the same as our last. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen. Natural fifteen. Let me get all this stuff. Down. Is it? No, I got a. Yeah. I got a twelve. I, I rolled an eleven plus four. I got a ten. No, I'm not. Fifteen. Fifteen. Six. Six. <laughs> I'm going first 12. again. Twelve. Why well, went first last time? Oh night. fuck you, no. Tony! I'm sorry, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying. Kind of shit. just need to be as one of these <laughs> <laughs> fucking roll ass toes. How many are there? You said four. Listen, and, uh, that's one each, and then one extra for me. So I get two. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh wait, it's <laughs> four. <laughs> Never mind. That's. Two for me, the rest of you guys can fucking deal with. I don't care. Well, um... The wolves go first. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> All of them? Want me to roll for them individually? No. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> it's fine. I was just... I was just... I thought that was funny. Like how they all got to go first. I thought he rolled for them all. And I was like, no, really? They all got higher than 12? No, that's usually how I do my combat yeah. with multiple people. I just yeah. roll them all at once. Mm. just goes faster so that way. You wouldn't know, Tony, because you haven't DM'd since the beginning of time. Yo, dude, I'm sorry. I miss Aliros, Tony. We can play. I need air drop. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good times. I don't really miss Drumdar. Why? This life is shit right now. <laughs> so, the four wolves. One's going to go after Jerry, one's <laughs> going to go after Barnabas, one's going after Bombadil. This is your fault. And one's <laughs> going after you, Rob. Okay. Oh, fucking A. <laughs> what do you mean this is my <laughs> fault? Game is on that doesn't get attached. Uh, so, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> the game has a word set <laughs> So they're just going to. Oh, they have cold breath. I can't believe yeah, that the candy cane it. does more damage than the short sword. That I <laughs> <laughs> no, your short sword. Yeah, that's one d six. Yeah, but the candy cane doesn't it do one d ten do uh, no. shredded. No, one d six cold candy cane. Oh, I thought he said okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. The baseball bat bat is one d ten. Oh, maybe that's what I heard. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. These four wolves are all going to go up to their respective people and yeah. use their cold breath. Come here, kitty. So you guys all have to do dexterity dex- dex- <laughs> saving throws. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> 22. God darn, bro. Natural 20. Sad. Fuck yeah. Easy peasy, boys. 21. <laughs> nice. What did you get? Four. Four? Okay, so everyone saves except for uh, Balmerdale. <laughs> what did you roll? Four. Um, no, uh, yeah. three actually. Um, Plus one. So, Bombadil, you'll take ten cold damage, everyone else will take five. Why are you cold resistant? I took that feat. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> so. Nice. The wolves all win, which means, uh, Jingle's going next. I'd like to imagine that Jingle stepped forwards and then all four wolves ran right past him <laughs> to attack the rest. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn around and swipe at one of the wolves behind. Okay. With my broom of everlasting cigarette uh, smoke. Which one are you going to hit? Uh, the one attacking uh, Barnabas. Save okay. the old man. Fuck the old man. <laughs> so uh, he runs away in the I face of danger. Twenty. I knew you guys could handle uh, yeah, it. <laughs> okay. That is. She's just like fuck this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I rolled eight. I see. So I rolled seven plus one, so eight damage. Cool. I'm use my multi attack at him again. Uh, fuck. Five plus three is eight, plus one is nine. Is that eight and nine? No, does, does nine hit? Oh, no, nine doesn't oh, Okay, hit. then I don't hit the second time. So you just do eight damage? Just eight damage. And then I'll use my movement to, since he's not facing me, can I back away without an opportunity to? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I'll back up. I won't bother with opportunity attacks and, uh, oh. really spacing right now. Oh, then fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I stay right there. <laughs> I mean, I could, but... No. I don't want my thing for me to worry about. Well, it's fine. Okay. 
Okay. So Jingle goes next up between Bob and Bonville. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. Um, I'm going to take out my exacto knife and stab one of the wolves. Okay. One attacking you? Yes. And that's a 24 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Moses. <clears throat> Uh, 25, sorry. And, um... Uh... 12 damage. Don't fuck with Bob. Yeah. <laughs> so as this wolf, uh, breathes cold breath in your face, you take that opportunity to just take your exacto knife and shank him in the face. Yes. Uh, next up is... Oh, uh, I'm gonna use my RC card taser. <laughs> Troll to taste... Either the leg of a wolf or in small, so if it can reach. <laughs> okay. Would that be a dex roll or just straight 20? Just bullet hit. You don't add uh, strength to dex, just add proficiency. Okay, uh, 21. Okay, that is. Uh, which one are you going for? I'll do the one that he just hit. Okay. Oh. Just one damage. <laughs> Plus one, though. Yeah, but my strength. Well, I guess it wouldn't be strength. Yeah, because it's not an RC two, card now. Two damage. Yeah, because you're not you're not actually trying to stab yeah. it's an RC card that's doing everything. It's two damage. Okay. And I feel kind of bad about shocking an an animal, but whatever. Cool. Um, <laughs> feel feel after all. <laughs> Next up. Third. Awesome. Um. Uh, so how close are the wolves again? Like, they're, they're, because one, well, I guess one, like, tried to attack Yeah, me. one, one tried to attack you, so there's one right in front of you. Um. And then the rest are within. So. Within 10 feet. Uh, I'm, like, freaking out again, because this is just <laughs> way too much. Uh, so I have my short sword kind of on my back, and I also had the candy cane in the other one. And nice. I'm freaking out. So I go and I reach, uh, I reach for the candy cane. <laughs> I, I grab, like, whatever I can behind my back, and I pull it out in front of me um and then i'm gonna swing down and hit him uh with the candy cane okay go ahead sick uh in my proficient at candy cane <laughs> yeah sick all right <laughs> so plus five man. let's do this boys uh 15 it's awesome so then uh, five okay well you hit this wolf in the face with your candy cane doesn't really get, seem to do much. It seems to piss him off more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just slowly, uh, I slowly start to back away from him. <laughs> okay. So, Barnabas. <sighs> All right. Now, are they all in front of me, all the wolves? Yeah. There's yeah. one attacking you and the rest are within 10 feet. All right. Um, I'm mean, not <laughs> the one that's attacking me currently. Uh, now, you fuzzy bastard, listen here. I'm not getting anywhere near those reindeer. I'm just gonna whip them with my bat. That's ten. Ten does not hit. Okay, well, good thing I have a second try. I'm gonna crack him against the jawline. Ah, that's a sixteen. Sixteen does hit. Mm, there's the damage. Yeah, so your first swing, he kind of hops out of the way right after his cold breath. But then that hop leaves him open to a second attack, and you smack him across the face. Oh, yes, that is a um, nine. That is nine bludgeoning damage. Okay. Unless I add anything to that. Well, you would add your strength. Okay. Your gold, nice. your strength. Twelve. That's twelve bludgeoning okay. damage. Nice. I crack them across the face with. Big hit from the baseball bat. You smack this wolf right in the face and seems to be pretty hurt from it. After that, everyone's gone, so the wolves will go next. Uh, the wolf that you just hit, he's going to try and bite down on your ankle, and he succeeds. He will... No, he does not succeed. <laughs> he wishes. He, he's actually going to try and lunge for your uh, for your leg, and uh, that hit kind of made him a bit more dazed, and that lunge is going to actually leave him prone as he misses. Ooh. And uh, uh, next up... Uh, this corpse. Wolf that's attacking Jerry. Fuck. Um, he rolls a 24. <laughs> yeah, I guess that beats my armor class. Apparently. 
And, Just uh, barely. You're going to have to do a strength saving throw. Ten. He'll bite down on your leg for seven piercing, and uh, he now has you prone. Easy money. <laughs> Poor Jerry. Well, I had a dog. <laughs> uh, next up is the wolf attacking ball. What's your AC? 17. He rolled a 19. He's going to do six piercing damage, and I need you to do a strength saving throw. Uh, 18. You're fine. Cool. He bites you and you manage to kick him off your leg before he uh, trips you. Oh, fuck what bomb. Now the wolf attacking bomb, Bill. What's your AC? What do you roll? 17. You beat me. Beat me. Okay. So this guy will do uh, Why about not 10 years of damage. And I'll need you to do a strength saving throw. 17. You're fine. You knock him off as well. And that leads us back over to Jingle. Is the one I was still hitting is right there, right? Didn't run off on me. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna line up once more and I'm gonna fucking bop all my on the head with the broom. Oh fuck. Nine thirteen. Defender wins. So you do not hit. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Alright, uh, I'll swing again. He narrowly, narrowly dodges out of the way. Fourteen. <laughs> yeah. Haha, <laughs> uh-huh. you take six damage. Okay. Fucker. <laughs> so you do six damage to that guy by snapping him with your broom? Yeah. Um. Oh, 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 and I hit with an improvised weapon. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to grapple him with my bonus action. Sure. Uh, so this is a strength contest. I yeah. believe, is it? Big money, big money. Oh, f- nope. Roll the four. Plus one is five. Dirty yeah, I just like paw at his legs. <laughs> Come you here! Know, Come here, I'm gonna fucking hug you! Come you here! You know he's not facing you. He wants nothing to do with you. And he, I'm doing so much damage off. to you, though! <laughs> you you I pit you like three times! Okay, so keep the same order, so... Oh. Uh, I'm just going to stab him with my exact knife again. Nine? To hit? No. Okay. <laughs> Which means Bomb Dale's next. I'll use my taser again on the same one I hit before. Okay. Um, you'd be just a straight draw, right? Plus one. Okay, so 16. It's. Seven damage. So I'm trying to tase it, like, pretty much wherever, really. Since the wolf didn't really move from before, uh, the first shot kind of hit him on the leg a little bit. But now that you've gotten used to driving an RC car, you get him right in the balls. Nice. You get what you're (laughs) looking for. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to (laughs) tickle. He fucking (laughs) yelps. That did not feel good. Uh, so after that, Jerry's gonna go. All right. Um, so that wolf like bit down on my leg, right? Yeah. So when he did that, I like I scream. So I'm like, ah! And yeah. I, I take my candy and I whap him again on down on the head. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna hit him. Okay. I'm gonna fight that dude. Remember that you are prone. He did not keep prone. Did he? Yeah. Why? <laughs> he failed. <laughs> I don't yes. strength. You didn't. You didn't hold your stance. You can just get up with your. Yeah, movement. yeah, it's half my movement. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess like when he bit down, I'm gonna hit him, and then afterwards, I'll just, I'll just get up from being prone. Yeah. Scroll hit. Uh, twenty, thirty, twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Sorry, and then the so does the candy cane is one d six cold. One D6 cold. Okay. Ooh, nine cold damage. Okay. Well, just like the first hit, you, s- you smack him really good with your candy cane. But he seems to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Winter Wolf cold resistant. Yeah. That's metagaming? 
No, I'm just coming to the conclusion. Sorry. Talk Roll an intelligent reaction. saving throw. Talk oh, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you didn't so save that character. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah. so, if Edmonton is canon, is D&D canon? <laughs> is metagaming canon? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Metagaming is not canon. Okay. <laughs> With that, Barnabas is dead. Alright, is anyone else not prone? No. no. Everyone else saved there. Okay, good. Then I'm cracking my bat down on this wolf that's prone. So, you have a bad thing down here. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Alright, first, first, uh, Debouge. Oh. Um, so that's a total of nine. Nine bludgeoning damage. Nine bludgeoning. Crack him. Still alive? He's still alive. I'm <laughs> cracking him again. <laughs> this oh. wolf that's prone, you just kind of bring their bat down, hit him once. Fourteen. You hit him a second time. Eight. Eight damage. Eight bludgeoning. Crack that bastard's skull open. This wolf is definitely looking worse for wear. You've done a lot of damage to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's... Definitely not looking good. It's the same one I've been fucking up to, right? You were attacking one. It was attacking Barnabas. Which one did you put my damage on? Because I'll just say I was attacking the other one. I put the one on the one I was attacking, Bob. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'm helping you out, Bob. Bob. <laughs> fucking. So that's the one I was attacking too, right? Yeah. 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 Uh oh. Poor wolf. It's <laughs> fucking teased balls and got. <laughs> Three people beating up on him. <laughs> and I'm just cracking this other one with a bat. <laughs> okay. So. Damn, dogger. The wolf that was prone, I was attacking Barnabas, so I'll have him go first. He'll just try and bite you again. Good luck. Uh, he goes a 17. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. And he'll do uh, 7 damage, uh, strength saving throw for you. Okay. 19. Yeah, you're good. Heck yeah. I did some seven damage. One attack and bombardel. He misses. It's a ten. One attack and ball. He'll get a fourteen. Misses. He misses as well. And the one attack and jittery. He gets an eighteen. I have an eighteen armor class. You win. You win. You win. <laughs> Woo! Not this time, baby. Yeah. This full set. <laughs> Uh, you've been trying to beat up with the candy cane. He tries to run for you, and you stick your candy cane oh. right in his mouth and just block his attack. And nice. scream. <laughs> I go, ah, how does that taste? <laughs> <laughs> you can see him kind of like licking his <laughs> candy cane and he's trying to bite you. Nice. Uh, with that, all four wolves gone, so game All right, I'm going to keep plugging on this fucking stupid-ass wolf and beat the shit out of my broom. Uh, 14? Yeah. Uh, 5 damage. I mean, 4 damage. 3 plus 1. And again! Uh, 15. Yep. 3 damage. Okay. I have plus 1 in strength. That's all I get. You just keep smacking this wolf with your broom. Why won't you die? Oh, why am I using your voice? <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems to be working. Not as effective as you would hope. Hurry up and collapse, you but fucking But definitely looks weaker. I'll fucking kill you. Uh, with that, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stab him with my exacto knife again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This old man just... <laughs> <laughs> um, 22 to hit. God. Yes. Yeah, okay. What is that, D4? No, this is D&D. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. 1 plus 4 plus 1... <laughs> Six damage. Six damage. Okay. So you sla- slash his wolf one more time, and he's bleeding a lot from his face. You you slash him like three times. It's exactly enough by now. And then you got you got Jingle right in the back, just smacking him. Like a <laughs> oh, I got a Jingle in the back. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> canceled. This, this wolf is definitely not not, not looking good. He seems ready to collapse at any moment. We die, Bombardel. I go for the balls again. <laughs> go to taste him for the balls. That's uh, plus 
Oh wait, it's just a regular roll plus one, right? Just plus one. proficiency plus. Oh, plus one. proficiency. Yes. Fuck yeah. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, you hit. Yeah, yes. riding his mistletoe. Nice. <laughs> two. <laughs> two damage. And. Oh my god. This wolf <laughs> has been through hell. <laughs> His balls are just fucking <laughs> singed. singed. You can see the smoke coming off. Uh, they're, all, they're all cooked. He is <laughs> sterile. And he, he is just weak. He can barely do anything at this moment. Um, with that, it's Jerry's turn. These weak arms are heavy. Alright. Lost, but yeah. Um, Tesco's are sweating now. <laughs> <laughs> um, an interesting question for you. Um, <laughs> Would sucking down one of the ends of the candy cane to a point count as a bonus action? <laughs> It'll take like eight turns. <laughs> yeah. I guess so, because like, it returns yeah. like what? Like, or six, six, six seconds. seconds. Yeah. So um, you could definitely do it, but you couldn't do it. All right. Um, so action. would I piece together that my candy king is not doing any sort of damage at all? Yeah. Well, actually, what's your intelligence? Uh, it's 10, so it's plus zero. Or minus zero, it doesn't matter. <laughs> or infinity. Roll for roll in terms of intelligence saving throw. Because your character is also scared out of his mind. Yeah, yeah that's true. Thing. Not 20, dude. Yeah, you definitely notice that your kind of keen is having no effect on him. Um, I just like, after like, I beat him the last time and I stood up, I just kind of just like look at, or, no, I guess I blocked his bite. Yeah. I kind of just like, so you kinda... after like he gets kind of pushed off, I just kind of look at the candy cane like it didn't do much. Um, I give it a quick lick and I put it back <laughs> and I reach over for my, for my short sword. Candy cane's um, covered in wolf slobber. Oh, I licked like the part he didn't like. Okay. No. Yeah. You licked the candy cane. Eh? This is the best candy cane you have ever tasted. I hesitate when I go to put it away. I just <laughs> continue licking the candy cane. It's a mixture of mint with like cotton candy and like bubblegum. Ah, bro. And crack. <laughs> and snow. That's what this is what Rudolph is starting with. Candy cane. Crushed candy cane. Um, after I lick and give it the quick he- moment of hesitation, I put it back and I grab up my short sword. And as I bring it over my shoulder, again, I'm not swinging with grace. I'm lobbing this thing like I down on him. Okay. Um, so I kind of like lift it and like I use that kind of like my shoulder and my body weight a little bit and like bring the sword down on him. Okay. Roll the hit. All right. All right. Uh, 18. Yeah, that definitely hits. Nice, nice. So many Six damage. Okay. You bring down your jagged short sword, and you just slash this wolf right on top of his head and do six damage. Nice. Uh, nice. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice, nice, baby. <laughs> Jerry's turn wins. So oh, I'm cracking this wolf again. <laughs> I still get advantage. Probably. Uh, he would have gone up from last night when he when he tried to bite you again. Don't matter. Don't matter. Yeah, definitely don't matter. It's a seventeen base. So <laughs> so my crack. Oh, That's a lot of fucking attitude there. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you back it up? 13 bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Holy cow. It's like crack this dude on the rib cage. Nice. Trying to squish his heart. Now this, he definitely felt this hit. <laughs> he he stumbles back like a couple feet after that hit. That's right. I'm beginning to regret your decisions now, on you? He's, he's definitely regretting coming after you. He kind of wishes he got someone else. <laughs> oh, you think you're going to get away with this now, are you? I'm going to get up close to him again and crack him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way. Nine. <laughs> okay, so that little stumble from the first hit, he puts him just out of your range as you try and go for a second hit, thinking he would be in the same spot, and you just whiff. That was a warning shot. I mean, for someone with three intelligence, that makes complete sense. <laughs> Sees him stagger, he won't move. <laughs> <laughs> the bat just sinks in the snow, and a pile of snow just uh, puffs up into the air. I hit him once, I should be able to do it again. <laughs> Wolves turns. He's going to try and lunge at you. Good luck. Uh, with uh, 23. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do... Uh, 23 base. He'll do 7 damage. And do a strength 
saving throw. That's 17. Yeah, you're, you're good. You're still standing. Sweet. Uh, next wolf's going to try and attack Bombadil, but he completely misses. He whips his bite. You're just dipping, dodging, weaving around this wolf. Uh, as you're using your RC <laughs> attacking the wolf. Uh, the wolf that is attacking Bob. This wolf is so broken. <laughs> <laughs> Make a rule of constitution saving those he dies. <laughs> all the one for his attack. Oh, man. He is so broken by now that he literally just flops on the ground trying to hit you. Oh, God. And he it. just kind of lays there. I love it. The next wolf is attacking Jerry. He'll get a 17. Mm-hmm. E team, bro. Right. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Defender wins, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 18 is higher than 17. You, you're getting a little bit more confident on versing this wolf. You've managed to block a couple of his attacks and you finally made him bleed. If it bleeds, you can kill it. That's what's going through your mind right now. Hell yeah. And you managed, <laughs> Never killed anything. You managed to uh, get out of the way of this wolf's attack. And with that, counterattack. Jingle. All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna okay. bonk the That's almost nasty. dead wolf, I guess. That's really just lying down. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna use my broom there, I'm just gonna punch it in the face. <laughs> so, it's a roll to two, plus three is one. I mean, plus three and one is six. Yeah, okay. Because I have multi attack. Yeah. It's That's prone, it. though, right? It is prone. Oh, yeah, so, so I've get... managed, so I'll take this one for that first hit, which is 18 plus 3 is 21 plus 1 is 22. No, yeah. roll again. Okay. He takes 6 plus 1 is 7 damage. So you really lean into this punch. <laughs> this this wolf it claps right in front of you after you're smacking it with your broom. And you're like, well, fuck this. And you just, <laughs> boom! You let all your weight fall into your punch as you fall down. And you let this punch just like carried this wolf's face out of the ground. And that's why I should be in charge. <laughs> you really break this wolf's jaw with your punch. I am a fucking god. <laughs> Alright, and I'm gonna stand up, take another puff of my smoke, <coughs> and I'm gonna run to the one that is attacking Barnabas. Okay. So, like, instead of just, like, you see this wolf is, like, almost dead. Instead of hitting it with your broom, you, like, decide to, like, <laughs> lean down and punch it, like, out of your way, just. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm going to use my broom on the one attacking Barnabas. Yeah. Uh, 17? Sweep him yes. off his feet. Yes. Nice. Uh, 8 nice. damage. Uh, Slap him across the face for 8 damage. Yes! Wow. Nice. Oh! Combo. <laughs> you see that comet? I'm the one who protected you. <laughs> In the barn. <laughs> you see the reindeer kind of stamp in their hooves and... <laughs> Joyous occasion. <laughs> Vote for me! <laughs> Vote for me! <laughs> Rudolph just passed out. <laughs> I love candy canes, man. <laughs> Rudolph's actually lying down on the roof of the stable. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were like secretly talking about how Rudolph was like shot a long time ago. <laughs> no, no. no, he's he's a fucking druggie. <laughs> I thought that's why we shot him. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so Jingle manages to kill two of the wolves. Oh yeah. Add to my list. <laughs> and with that, Bob. Okay, so there's two wolves left? Yeah, the wolf that was in front of you is now dead. The wolf that was in front of Barnabas is now dead. Mm-hmm. Only two wolves are the ones attacking Bar- uh, Bombadil and Jerry. Okay, I'll go for the one attacking Jerry and stab him with my exacto knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just see like this <laughs> old man yeah. like stabbing, and then this wolf just like collapses dead. And he just like slowly turns and just starts stabbing in the other direction. I think it's funny, like it's like one of those like slide out ones, and I just imagine yeah. like the one blade out, you know, so it's like really small. Yeah. You gotta understand. Like, like, like box cutter. Yeah. 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 You gotta understand too. He's on this fucking mobile. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to rise to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I like like those little shopping cart things at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Shop rider slash him like Zach tonight. Yeah, I got 15 to hit. Okay, yeah, you yeah, did. Fuck yeah. Teams. Holy shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> um, damage. Uh, what's that? 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1. 4 9 strength. damage. Stacks. Hell yeah. Oh, rates in life. Hell to the yeah. Yeah, you just ride up on your little RC horse and 
You don't even move your hand. You literally have a stack of knife sticking Joe's out. Dude. And you just ram into this, into this wall. <laughs> and then you, you back up. You don't even move your hand. You literally just <laughs> use <laughs> the, you're using the force <laughs> to do everything. <laughs> oh, God. So, Bombadil. Uh, but I have my lawnmower with me, so... <laughs> oh, God. Through the power of magic, okay. you have your lawnmower with you. What would the damage be if I, like, took it and, like, swung it... I'm mowing the air! <laughs> if I, like, swung it on top of the wolf. Uh... I can't make it too overpowered, so I'd say it'd be 1d6. But I would let you do continuous damage. So if you... If you hit this hit, then you can really just sit there and do 1d6 damage every single turn. Okay, I like that, so I'll try that. Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> That's, uh, would that be plus strength? Plus proficiency? Proficiency. 15. Yeah, you hit. Sweet. 3 damage. And you're attacking the one in front of you? Yeah. Yeah? 3 damage? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you pull this, uh, lawnmower, so I'll push more out of your, uh, I guess... Yeah, you guys would have backpacks with you that would be in the locker. You pull this lawnmower out of your backpack and just slam it on top of this wolf. And just grab it. I think it's funny that you got a lawnmower. There's no grass. In the like, it could have been a, sort of a snowblower. And he's grinding up a wolf. Oh, um, I got a fucking carrot. <laughs> so what you roll, man. Uh... Bombadil went so Jerry. Yeah. Um. So I guess after. <laughs> I guess some Spider Man movie. I guess after I uh. Some so clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I guess after I swung down at him with my short sword across his head, and after I saw that uh, Bob drove in with an exacto knife. Yeah, he really just kind of like. Slowly drove up in his <laughs> RC horse and. Um, I'm literally just gonna. This exact knife. Slide I'm literally just gonna lift up my short sword kind of back over my head and then just swing it back down. Okay. <laughs> Again, no, like, no finesse to it at all. Uh, so I guess roll the hits. Just uh, some savage swinging. Uh, dirty 20. Nice. You say you have no finesse, but you're consistently rolling good with it. Yeah, yeah I, dude, I don't know. Like, I don't think you've missed. He's giving him yeah, some really. post disadvantage. <laughs> It'd be like that, you know. It don't be like that. I miss all the time. Uh, nine <laughs> piercing. I guess. Nice. Give him a nice, decent slash across the face, making an X right on his. <laughs> Actually, if I'm like hitting him as bluntly with the sword as possible, would I be able to count as bludgeoning? Yeah. That's okay. I mean, they don't have resistance to uh, touching or piercing, so it doesn't. Okay, but I just get I get a, a plus one for bludgeoning oh, damage. Yeah, I guess you do. Yeah. You gonna allow it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, that's ten then. And then I'll give plus one hint from the other, so I'll be minus eleven. Yes. Okay. So Jerry went, which means he's better with his turn. So there's the two wolves currently. One's being mowed. <laughs> and the other one is being attacked by a man on a horse. <laughs> and uh, Jerry. A sword wielding user that doesn't know how to use a sword. <laughs> okay. I'm going to assume they have this under control. Okay. Situations, you know, I seriously doubt these wolves are going to get out of their grasp, especially um, Bob the Bills. Um, yeah, so there's two wolves left. One attacking uh, Jerry, one attacking Bombadil. No, I'll go to the bitter end. I'm going to completely rush the wolf that Jerry and uh, Bob are attacking. I'm yeah, going to like, kick it. Yeah. Rolling us, Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> uh, so if you're just kicking it, roll the hit, and I'll let you do 1d4. Okay. Uh, eight. <laughs> Add your strength. Yeah, that's a strength. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, if only it was a one, because you could have rerolled that. Your yeah. short stubby legs, you, you, you lift a few short stubby legs to try and hit this wolf. Uh, how tall are you? Two and a half feet. Yeah, so, uh, you try to kick this wolf. Uh, not really quite knowing how high your foot would go. 
and you kick right underneath his belly. These wolves are taller than you. All right. <laughs> We're going to have a second nice. attack. Take my bat. <laughs> and, uh... Are his nuts visible to me? Probably. His what? Are his nuts. His testes. Yeah. He's what if it's character? a girl? His pride. His, his jewels. His family jewels. He's a pretty big wolf. So you his, can definitely his gold pieces. <laughs> his sack. <laughs> All right. I'm going to line up my bat to his genitals. <clears> and I'm just going to... Okay. His bag of... Oh, my God. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I didn't hit. Yeah, so... uh you try aiming for his testy. <laughs> Strike and a miss. <laughs> ah, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so balls. Uh, and missed. <laughs> you try going in from behind, right underneath his tail. <laughs> and my, <laughs> and you kind of misjudge the angle, and you kind of swing too too high up, going straight over his back. Oh, nutcracker. <laughs> uh. And with that, it'll be the two wolves' turns. So they'll still... What is uh, the one getting lawnmowered he <laughs> really <didn't> do? <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> like, what does he do? <laughs> He's getting lawnmowered in the face right now. And now By all rights, he should be dead. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking lawnmower. <laughs> Basically, like, grapple. It's a slightly less powered wood chip. <laughs> <laughs> like, his face should be mangled. He's gonna have a nice haircut after that. He's... It hasn't been five turns yet, has it? It's been four. This wolf is going to try to bite you, and uh, he gets a 16. Hits. Damn, you don't know what he What's he hitting with? Bites him. His face is the lawnmower! <laughs> he. I'm pretty sure his body's on the lawnmower. <laughs> you said you hit his face! Yeah, I think I said uh, face. He moves his body so that <laughs> he can he can bite around the lawnmower, and the lawnmower is still clipping his his ribs and his leg as this wolf bites you. This, this is, is horrible. Is <laughs> <laughs> this is what D and D is about. <laughs> He'll do eight damage, and since you have him on the lawnmower, I'm not going to have you do a strength save. Okay. So. Uh, and then the other one is going to attack Jerry with 15. Nah, uh, dude. You got this wolf under control. He's <laughs> not hitting you, and you're just kicking its ass. So with that... Yeah, get him, Jerry. Jingle. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm going to go help out Bombadil. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to smack the shit out of that wolf twice with my broom while he's getting fucking chewed up by the lawnmower. He's yeah. talking to <laughs> uh, fuck you guys trying to make it exciting <laughs> suck my dick uh, 16 and uh, 13 uh, 16 yes do I have advantage since he's being lawnmower he has prone no because he just would have you prone so no advantage okay I only hit once oh wait he's flanking hmm <laughs> To make it even more confusing. It's eight uh, plus one is nine damage. Yeah, you hit this wolf that's getting mulched. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy! <laughs> I don't hit him with the broom part. I hit him with like the, the the knobby end, and I just like poke him in his fucking like right under his tail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you leave uh, you leave a trail of smoke as you kind of just poke him with your broom. Hey, time for some secondhand smoking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you know win. cigarettes cause cancer? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I'm, really, I'm just gonna stab him again. <laughs> yeah, she's moving. <laughs> just <laughs> back up your horse and back up the wolf. <laughs> oh, lucky. Okay. Nah, uh, 20, 30, 20. You only do that once. You can never do it again. That's not true. No, it's one per day. Is it per day? Per day. It doesn't say that in the book. It, it does rest? say that in the book. Yeah, one re-roll on a nat one a day. I don't think that's true. That's no. what it said. I'll it look it up. It, it didn't say it. It didn't specify. It just says no, it every didn't. time you get a, a one. I just liked it before. Look. Yeah, when you roll a one on a d20 for an attack roll, ability check or same throw, you can re-roll the die and must use the new roll. Doesn't have say a time. On D&D Beyond, it says... What are you going to go by D&D Beyond? Oh, shit! 
D and D Beyond doesn't even have all of the like subclasses. Are right you gonna there. trust the handbook or D and D Beyond? Yeah, this is a diss against D and D Beyond. It was the sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Also, if you want to sponsor us, D and D Beyond, please do. <laughs> we fucking hate them. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter because I've only done it once. Please sponsor us, Matt Mercer. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I got a dirty twenty to hit. Okay, yeah, it hits. Yeah, fuck yeah. Come on, give me a four. That's, you slowly yeah. ride your RC horse and slide the exacto <laughs> knife into his wolf. Oh my god. Time. Eight damage. You're doing eight damage. Okay, which one are you attacking? The oh, one with Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry's, you just yeah. re roll one every time. And They're halflings. They're lucky. Yeah, that's true. You can do this too. <laughs> that's that's <it>. bullshit. <laughs> so Bob Wayne's a bum down. Uh, yeah, I'm just keeping the lower going. Okay, yeah, so... Vol just damage? Up. Yeah, just damage. Grab that bad boy up. Uh, four. You know, four damage. <laughs> Put her into first. You got a little bit more gas and... <laughs> shred his leg a little bit. Sure. Mullen, dude. Alright, well, again, once again... Mullen, Um, uh, I throw... I take my sword back again over my head... Uh, I kind of like, I kind of like lose my balance a little bit because like the sword, like it's a short sword, but it's still quite hefty for me. And I'm gonna bring her down again, um, and again, no grace in it at all. It's like I'm okay. beating a dead horse. Yeah, <laughs> That's a seventeen. I hit. Beautiful. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Uh, That's a nine. Big what damage. I'm not a small halfling. Big daddy, big daddy. Yeah, you hit him for another nine damage. Uh, the cross that was on his forehead is now almost a uh, star. And you put another line straight through. Uh, next up, Iris. Bottom it. Alright, I'm gonna take my bat. <laughs> I'm gonna whip this damn wolf in the legs. Oh, that's not terrible, I guess. Uh, Bust some kneecaps 13. over here. The better wins. Wolf nearly uh, jumps out of the way. <laughs> that's some bullshit. Right. He hops over here like hopscotch. This wolf ain't getting away from me, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do a little leap up in the air and bring the bat down right on his spine. Oh, God damn it! That doesn't hit. Either. <laughs> this sucks. This fucking sucks. Uh, so, expecting the first swing to hit, uh, you follow it up with a, a leaping strike and hits the exact same spot that you hit the first time because you expected the first hit to hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the wolves turns again. You just do the same thing. How big is your lawnmower, by the way? <laughs> How big is, is it? Is like, it, like, size for you, or is it, like, huge, and you're just kind of, like, being, <laughs> like, behind it? So I'm, like, two and a half feet tall. It is... Fuck. <laughs> Everything needs to be midget size. Yes. Yeah. It is a halfling push mower. <laughs> it's like one of those lawnmower tro- toys you get for your kids, and they're, like, five years old. Exactly. Exactly. So that's that's why the wolf can carry <laughs> on the lawnmower because it's not the biggest mm-hmm. lawnmower, mm. and so he'll try to Is bite you again. Happen? Can you roll that one whatever they want? I'm not over that. No, it's With only the, attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah. He gets a uh, fifteen. And so ability check. Yeah, ability really checks. checks. So everything, everything, <laughs> yeah. much everything that you can. So he'll do ten damage. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one? Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this wolf has definitely left a lot of marks on Oh, him. yeah. You are definitely not feeling the best. Just nope. bleeding out. I haven't been hit once. <laughs> you now, now, like, becoming the boy who cries. <laughs> and the next wolf is going to try and attack Jerry. Bro, he just keeps going for me. He gets a nap 20. Mm. Oh. Defender wins. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, bring it on. <laughs> Jerry Snowberry can take anything, dude. <laughs> With that 20, he does 10 damage. Wow. Alright, dude. I fucking rolled two got ones. So lucky. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I did actually. Okay. That's Wolves turns back up to Jingle. 
Hey, you fucking <laughs> stay away from my creepy friend Bobadil. <laughs> I'm gonna swing twice again. Take it home. Fuck! <laughs> oh, 13. <laughs> this wolf is fucking dodging everything right now. Fuck, he's being long mode! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense! 18. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Roll the one plus one is two damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, if it makes you feel better, I'm also at one. Okay. Half of my health. Wow. Fuck you, Toby. Is there a jingle hits the wolf with his broom again. And, uh, Bob's turn. I hope one of us dies because none of us have any kind of healing yeah. ever, so you have to just leave the table. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna repeat, rinse and repeat. 27 to hit. <laughs> and, uh. In and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> 7 damage. Uh, that's one attacking Jerry, right? Yeah. Yeah, you kill him. Yes! <laughs> 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 oh, <Hey>. it's dead. <laughs> it just keeps driving over. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this time he doesn't stop. We're gonna miss yeah. all our coupon deals. Final stab. You you don't push the brakes on this one. You just yeah. keep going through, trying to just get that exactor knife right in there. And uh, you're battling for the best deal on Black Black Friday. <laughs> this wolf just kind of stays stuck to your knife and bumps down to the front of your horse. <laughs> And you just keep moving forward. Oh my god, dude. This wolf kind of dangling off your horsey horse. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get the final blow, but I'm also happy I don't have to fight anything anymore. Okay. So, uh, one horse left. Uh, horse. One, wolf. <laughs> one, one wolf left. This whole combat message is a mess. <laughs> With Bombadil going... Is he just going to do damage again? Yeah. Take it home. Nice seven. Big hits with the lawnmower. You kind of shred his leg. Uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give it to you guys this time. You you take his leg off with the lawnmower. <laughs> Good. Well, I can't walk. Got a drumstick now. <laughs> Can I, I, use the leg? In the Can I use the leg as a weapon? <laughs> the leg is moshed. <laughs> um, well, I don't know how this works. lawnmower works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these reindeer are getting some good shit. There's no bag on the lawnmower, and you guys don't have the. So just Damn, like, Ross is getting so, so, so Yeah, lawnmower. so all the blood and everything. Uh, Cheap ass mower, dude. Doesn't even have a fucking bat. <laughs> Jingle, since you're in front of the mower trying to hit this wolf, you get sprayed. With guts and marrow and bones, as this guy, <laughs> as this wolf's leg. He should be just mulled. as bloody though. No, he's behind the lawnmower. Yeah, I am just as bloody. Yeah, yeah. 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 Remember, he, he has a lawnmower with like kind of tilted, so then the blade's spinning, and he's kind of mulching this. <laughs> the vent's going off to the side. Quit! Stop! Turn it off! I'm covered in fucking bone and blood, fucking idiot. Me too. <laughs> 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 You sounded happy saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too! <laughs> so, this fight is turning into a bloody mess. Oh my god. This wolf should not be alive. It's Jerry's turn. Alright, so after this, after we kill this one wolf, and I see Bob just keep yeah, he's, <laughs> pushing he's just, him away. He's just he's driving like, away with um, his wolf. I have like my sword kind of down still in front of me. Um, how close is that wolf that is getting mowed? If you walk another six feet, he's right there. So I'm just going to, as I have my sword in front, I'm going to kind of like put it like kind of to my side. I'm going to run forward <laughs> and like put the sword out and just go, ah! and I'm just going to drive my sword into him. Just skewer her. Yeah. Nice. Like a shish kebab. It hasn't missed yet. I actually have a shish kebab in the canon. It's canon? Yeah. All right. That's a natural 21. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on. That, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Joke his ass. <laughs> Come on! Sebastian said a thousand times. Yeah, sure. but it has to be an actual number in the D20. I got 21. That was the... <laughs> 20 plus 5. You hit. Yeah. 
God, you're dumb. <laughs> I was making a joke because you know, he says natural like 16. I was like, yeah, yeah and we hate it. 16, and then he adds what his bonus is. That's what makes it more funny is because he can't get an extra. <laughs> Things are less funny. Tony. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna roll! <laughs> You've already rolled. <laughs> For damage! <laughs> I got an 8! Eight. 8 piercing! You do 8 damage as you slide your jagged sword straight into this wolf's belly. He's not dead? He's not dead. What the He's hell? looking definitely worse for wear. Barnabas still has a go though. He's missing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> die. I'm gonna run, <laughs> jump on the top of the lawnmower. <laughs> Acrobatics. Done. Trip. Freaking done, bro. Oh, that's a oh. natural one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh yeah. 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 That's a two. Oh my god. Dude, you fucking hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you said acrobatics, right? Dude, you're so that's a total of three. Dude, you're gonna get mowed. <laughs> this is supposed to be cool. Yeah, yeah, so you come up from behind, uh... <laughs> Bombadil. <laughs> yes, Bombadil's gonna die. <laughs> you you try jumping on top of the lawnmower to try and get that extra little bit of like foot and a half of height. <laughs> and uh your leg slips as you step on top of the uh the handle. And you fall in front of the lawnmower. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> oh. So, uh, my under it or you didn't make it fine. <laughs> The wolf would still be in the way, though, right? I would say that you would fall on top of the wolf and push him out of the way. So the wolf is no longer getting mauled. Okay, easy money. I have but another attack. Someone between me and the <laughs> <laughs> Right? Yes. Just what I wanted to do. Okay. <laughs> so, you, you knock the wolf prone. You, the three-legged wolf prone. As you fall on top of him. And, uh, yeah. So you no longer can uh, do continuous damage, you have to do another yeah. attack. So a wolf prone, it. you're prone on top of it. I'm gonna use half my can you to stand up, okay? <laughs> and then I'm gonna crack the bastard with my bat, with advantage. Right, bat. My, uh, natural Ooh. 20 and a natural 1! <laughs> so, <laughs> and that 20, you go roll 3 dice. <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh Mama my god. Has to die. <laughs> <laughs> you can just shake him in the back. <laughs> 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 The brakes are gone. No, <laughs> it's like that scene from fucking Austin Powers where they're like the cement thing. Get out of the way. Okay, so that's one. Two old tattoos, and the uh, first one was like a well, I had to add it up to twelve. So. And, <laughs> so that's 28. What? 28? 28 bludgeoning. Wait, how's the 28? What? Because I can use my proficiency. Right? Not for oh, damage. No, no, sorry, no, I meant for. Okay, hold on. And you just add one of your strengths because this is one hit. Right. Just yeah, one of my so strengths? Yeah. What was the so first it's three dice? 13. 13 plus your strength. No, no, no. Like, or whatever. So, yeah. what did you roll for your defense? My, my, first, my first one was um, 8. Okay. 10, 12. Yeah. Plus three is fifteen. Yeah, fifteen no matter. <laughs> yeah. Twenty eight. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck I messed it shit. Up. Yeah, so you do fifteen with that strike. It's dead, right? No. Oh, oh what? Oh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it is very beaten. You are so it's dead! <laughs> He's in front of me. His phone has got a couple cracked ribs from that hit. Also, my sword is still sticking out of it. That's when it gets its and he's missing a leg. leg though, baby. He's missing a leg. This wolf is just he practically should be dead, but he's yeah. still breathing. He uses cross breath back though, right? <laughs> Some he does. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't you have multi attack though? Well, I, uh, in my first attack, you managed? Oh no, I just, just didn't. I just jumped. That's yeah, right. I wanted, I wanted shit. I could crack him again. <laughs> I wanted an acrobatics check to jump onto the lawnmower. You didn't even get to Plus swing six, yet. 14. Oh. 14 yeah. still hits. And you'd have, wouldn't you have also advantage because he's prone? I know yeah, he, it was. Oh, okay. I didn't see. So I didn't count. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, 10. Yeah, that finishes him off. Damn it! Oh, I crack him in the sky. I'm just going to keep whapping the crap out of the brain. <laughs> That's the end so of once his wolf falls down, you give him a good strike right in the chest, break a couple of his rigs, ribs. 
internal bleeding, and then you take your other swing and go straight for your skull. You can hear it audible crap. <laughs> just don't stop. <laughs> Dude, thank goodness you aimed for the head. <laughs> right, I just so. watch, walk up and I just punch Bubba. <laughs> Damn it, we were so close. Do you really? No. Oh. I, mean, I want uh, to, though. <laughs> yeah. We'll begin taking the corpses and dragging them into the barn. <laughs> the reindeer. No, the reindeer aren't sure. going to eat the fucking wolves. <laughs> so the reindeer are just They're starving. They'll they're, eat them. They're prancing. They're, they're prancing. Down. Prancers prancing. <laughs> are you fucking yeah, serious? Dead. They are starving right now. <laughs> Maybe see Molly. <laughs> She's up, kind of hiding behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> She's Fuck clapping. you. She's like, I definitely hired the right people for this. I am absolutely terrified! I'm covered in fucking blood! I just fall into the snow. Oh, yeah. I drive over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I can't see very well. <laughs> no, you don't. So as soon as you collapse, uh, Molly's going to run over with a uh, first aid kit. Oh, thank god. What's your max health? 48. My max health is 24. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, it was a feeble old man. <laughs> I didn't get hit. It was awesome. Mine's sixty. Mine's sixty. Fuck off. Sixty. You gained fifteen health back. Awesome. Yeah, oh, I had thirty-two, you. but then I realized my con is nine, which gives me negative one instead of plus zero. <laughs> so mine is eight to my health. Beautiful. 24. Absolutely ravishing. Okay, so you guys finish off the uh, wolves. You guys save the uh, the reindeer, give him a little something to eat as well. Here, use your choices. He is regular wolf or puree wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I don't recommend either. It's kind of fucked up. Maybe not the most ethical thing. But uh, the reindeer are no longer going to starve. Thanks Look, to you dog guys. food. Get it? And they're not dead. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> get it, dog food? Yeah, I get it. You get, get what it. I said there, hey, Bob? It. Yeah? yeah. Okay, well, we're in the episode here. Uh, thanks for joining us in Matt 20. <laughs>